Negativity is gonna weigh you down. Just wipe it out. You've got this far in life thinking you're not good enough. They backed those fears into a corner and took the bastards down. You can envision it, you can accomplish it. These demons, a vicious little bastard that whispers in our ears a mountain of untruths to trigger our fears and doubts. The whispering begins when our vulnerabilities are high, when your self belief is low. These wicked, evil demons, they know exactly when to come calling, exactly when to strike. Remove stress by getting your body moving, promote them endorphins. Take deep breaths, breathe in peace and breathe out love. Be open to feedback, but only take what you can learn from. Refuse any, that will set your confidence back. Filter out the negative. It doesn't matter who you are or how much you do or don't believe in yourself. Negativity is gonna weigh you down. If you're being put down, tore down, feel like you can't get nothing right, it's gonna affect you. It enhances self-doubt. Learn to know what to take on board. If others' input can actually benefit you, even if it initially stings, take notes, take action, learn. But if their input has no relevance, it's not something you can take action on. If it's detrimental to your self-confidence, wipe it out. Anything that creates unnecessary self-doubt in you, be rid of it. Can I get a boom in the comments if you agree? If something or someone is troubling you, get it out, talk to someone, or write it down, even if you tear it to shreds after. Self-doubt need not necessarily be seen as a bad thing. It can be a positive, though it certainly may not feel it. It's that little niggle we get within, wanting to do better, to be better. It's it's that other little voice letting you know you're about to do something awesome. Keep reminding yourself who you are and what you're made of. How you are just as capable and worthy as everybody else. If you can't see that, then maybe it's time to dig deep. Give yourself a nudge, a kick up the ass, a pep talk. Give yourself some attitude. How bad do you want it? Don't let anyone on this earth ever get in your head and lower your self-confidence. Especially those that have sweet FA relevance to who you are and how you live. Someone who knew you before, whether it be years ago or a year ago, I bet they don't know who you are today. And most likely they don't deserve to. You left them somewhere back before for a reason. <laughs> Leave them there. Don't let their opinions impact you. Who cares if they or anyone else thinks you're not good enough? Use it as motivation when that feeling crosses your mind, and it will. Blow it to smithereens, ban it from existence. Of course you're good enough, we're all good enough, you've just got to act on it. You've got this far in life thinking you're not good enough? Just imagine how far you could go if you finally believed that you are. The minute you take charge, banish those self-doubts to the back of your mind and let determination take the lead, you will become unstoppable. If you're prone to self-doubt, low self-esteem, it won't just suddenly disappear, but you can condition yourself to be braver, stronger than your doubt. If you can see yourself doing it in your mind, you can make it possible with belief. If you decide you're going to go after it, convince yourself you're going to get it. You've got a hundred percent more chance of getting what you want than if you listen to the doubt demon spitting in your ear. You are meant to be whoever the fuck you believe you can be. You believe you can't, then you sure as hell won't. You believe you can, bet your ass you will. We all have weaknesses, we all suck at something, but we all have capabilities and strengths too. And focusing and building on those is what winners do. You can let fear and self-doubt completely kill your potential, or you can completely slay your fear and self-doubt to reach your potential. The hardest step to take is without a doubt the first one. You will have to muster every little bit of self-belief to make that first move. Sure, you may fall down, but the question is, will you stay there? Or will you dust yourself off and rise to the challenge? You've sat back in your self-fear, held yourself back from reaching your potential, disappointed yourself, and that has taken you to no place good. So perhaps now, if you step up into your strong, make yourself proud for every little move forward. No matter how slowly you go, fall downs won't kill your chances of 
succeeding. The fear to get up and go again, Will. To step into who you want to be, you don't need to be greater than others, but you do need to be greater than who you were yesterday. I find it hard to believe there is any one successful person on this earth that hasn't wrestled with fear and self-doubt. The difference is they backed those fears into a corner and took the bastards down. Shift your way of thinking, your thought process, consider everything as growth. Don't be embarrassed if you stumble, be proud you took the chance. A positive mindset will take you far, a negative one will take you nowhere. Self-doubt intensifies misery. Self-confidence intensifies fulfillment. No one ever knows if any new journey will see them reach their destination. Sometimes we'll find ourselves in a completely different place and maybe just find ourselves exactly where we are meant to be. So many people that actually have important things to say hold themselves back due to self-doubt. While well, self-confidence roars in many that should just sit down and shut the fuck up. Your self-doubt doesn't believe you can, doesn't trust you one iota. You need to believe in and trust yourself enough for the both. So you believe others are doubting you, why the hell would you want to join the queue? Don't let your biggest mistake in life be in listening to those self-doubt demons instead of showing them who's boss. Same with any other joker getting inside your head. It doesn't matter how much others mock you, critique you, judge you. That's on them, not you. Do it anyway. Use them negative, miserable sods as empowerment to step into your own. Remember, if you can envision it, you can accomplish it. Others will often try to instill self-doubt into us because they know deep down they don't have the courage to go after it. Show them you do. Push them bloody boundaries. Show them who you are, but most importantly, know who you are. Drop me a comment if you've had doubters and let me know how you've dealt with it. You can let your insecurities hold you back or you can hold back your insecurities. <laughs> Don't question whether others like you, whether they believe in you. Ask yourself why you give a rat's ass if they don't. If this video resonates with you, be sure to check out these videos. And be sure to hit the like button on this one. Someone else's disbelief in you should never determine your belief in yourself. The more you believe in yourself, the more the rest of the world will believe in you too. Undervalue who you are. You are giving others permission to undervalue you too. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get a notification and don't miss my next video, how to eliminate stress from your mind. In the meantime, love, peace and light to you.